On my last video blog, I talked about the boot system that I use throughout the whole hunting season from early season all the way through late season. And that got me thinking that there's probably a lot of viewers who get cold when they're hunting. I know I used to, and I don't as much as I used to, and it really comes down to having the right system. So I'm going to walk you now through the uh, layering system that I use when I'm going to go out deer hunting. This time, it's uh, today's about 10, 15 degrees, light wind. This is what I would wear if I was hunting today. So let's go through the layers first. I've got a fresh pair of uh, jersey gloves. I always wear these jersey gloves, and I always take a fresh pair every time I go out. And I do that for scent control reasons. Uh, my number one priority, of course, is not to be touching my out outerwear with my hands. So I want to have a clean pair of gloves every time I go hunting, whether it's a morning or, or an evening sit. So let me walk you through my layers. And I, I actually, <laughs> I'm in my driveway now, but this is what I do when I go hunting. This is what I'm dressed like. I've got these slip-on shoes that I wear. They're easy on, easy off. Don't have to worry about laces. Um, <clears throat> so this is what I actually wear when I go out to hunt. And I've got a little bit more on right now than I would early in the season. And I, I have a couple of neighbors that uh, keep an eye on me when I go hunting all the time. Of course, they're local guys, old farmers, and they think there's a lot of peculiarities in the way that I behave. And I guess when I'm out there in my skin-tight long underwear, that probably qualifies as a peculiarity. But then one of those guys is nicknamed Zeus, so I'm not too worried about being peculiar when I got guys like Zeus running around. But Zeus calls my, my uh, early season garb my Spider-Man outfit. When he sees me running around getting ready to go hunting uh, at the back of the truck wearing just my skivvies, he says you're in your, your Spider-Man outfit. So uh, you live in rural Iowa and uh, you get away with dressing like this when you get out of your truck. But I'm, I don't know that if I was in an urban environment that I would be out in my long underwear uh, standing around at the back of my truck for very long. So anyway, this is, like I said, this is what I'd be wearing. Uh, layers, the first layer on top is the Cabela's uh, Bionics. X-Bionics, I believe is what they call this. And it's a, it's a, they call it first on skin, which is designed to wick away uh, moisture if you're sweating, you know, going to and from your stand, for example. But uh, also it it's provides uh, warmth in the areas where they, they have proven that your body needs it the most and they have thinner layers uh, in the area or thinner panels in the areas where your body doesn't need as much warmth. The spots that are normally sweaty or the places where you know the heat profile is a little bit hotter. My second layer is uh, it's the Expedition or I think it's a heavyweight uh, ECWS, ECWCS, something like that that uh, we'll have to look that up but that's the Cabela system. This is a little hood and I like the hood because when it starts to get cold I pull that hood up um, so that this upper layer or upper uh, top garment in that system has the hood. The third layer is underneath my vest here and this is their stand hunter which is another one in the same ECWCS I believe is the acronym uh, series but this is a it's got a lot of insulation quality to it. It's lightweight and I like lightweight clothes that have a lot of insulation. I don't like being all weighed down uh, when I go out hunting. And then my final layer underneath is my vest. And I think the vest is super important because it seals everything in uh, nice and snug around your core. You know, keeps the heat retained there, but it gives you enough freedom of movement that you can climb into the tree. You can draw your bow. You don't feel restricted in any way. On the bottom, uh, it's almost identical. I've got the uh, a heavyweight thermal layer and I've got the uh, stand hunter uh, outer layer on the top of that. And for socks, I just wear the Ultimax. This is just the Cabela's Ultimax uh, lightweight, mid midweight uh, wool sock. And I don't change, like I said in the last video vlog, I don't change the, the number of socks or the thickness of my socks uh, as the season goes on. I just go to warmer and warmer boots. Uh, that way I'm not feeling like I'm trying to pack too much into these boots and restricting the blood flow to, blood flow to my feet. So now, okay, I get to the back of the truck, got my gloves on. I've got a couple options here. I've got two different pairs of boots that I usually keep back in this tub. 
depending upon the temperature. You know, 12 degrees, I'm going to go with these Saskatchewan pack boots. So I'm going to pull out the thick ones today. I've got my outerwear system that I wear. It's just a coverall. This was the original scent control suit that I worked with Cabela's on. I still keep wearing this thing even though it's all shredded up and, and beat up. But any good coverall would fit this purpose well. Uh, Cabela's makes a lot of other outerwear products too that are like a bib and parka system. Uh, anything like that makes a lot of sense because you don't want to walk in with all of your clothes on. And once I put this on, I'll show you what I'm talking about and I can show you how a bib you know, works perfect for walking in. Then you put the parka on when you get there. We're all about safety. So if I'm going to a tree stand, my safety harness goes on next. In fact, now we never go into a tree stand without the safe lines. It's just, uh, I mean, it's the cheapest life insurance you can buy as a deer hunter. You're not going to hit the ground if you're using the safe line and the, and the muddy harness system. This is the safe guard harness. Okay, so now I'm into that. I've got a little rope that I use that goes with me. I'll show you what that does in a minute. Okay, it's cold. It's cold, so I need a face mask. So I'm going to rummage, rummage around in here until I find a face mask. Okay. Get all the old leaves off this thing. Now, face masks are not overkill for late season. In fact, if you're going to be in a tree stand and not in a blind, I think it's almost an absolute necessity. You lose so much heat out of your head. Like I said, I've got the hood that I'll pull up over this stocking hat, but I'll have this on underneath the stocking hat once I get into my stand. And that little extra layer on your face makes a huge difference in your ability to stay warm. So that's going to come with. So now the next step is getting this outer layer on. Slide my little slip-on shoes off. I'm going to talk about this garment a little bit too, just because there's some features of it that are super important for staying warm. <laughs> All right, finally got that done. All right, now, and here's why I like this so much. I can, I can put this thing up so that I'm just wearing it on my waist and I don't have to pull it all the way on. And like I said, wearing bibs and a parka, you can accomplish more or less the same thing too. When I'm walking in, I want to be able to stay at least a little bit cool. If you're wearing all your clothes walking in, if you're like me, you're going to be sweaty by the time you get to your spot. So, okay, I'm set up like this, sleeves tied around my waist. This is the way I walk into my stand. Like I said, I've got this lineman's rope. I'll use that up in the tree sometimes if, if uh, once I get up there, the uh, safe line isn't attached in just the right spot. Now I've got this ready to go. Okay, so I've got everything I need here. Uh, you know, I'm open on the top yet. So I, I have a little bit of, of ventilation there. These coveralls have a panel that allows uh, a little bit of vent ventilation on the lower part. Then once I get to my stand, all I have to do is un unhook everything, pull the coverall up, uh, you know, get all in, zip everything up and get everything nice and snug. But the other feature about these that I was going to talk about that I think is so important and possibly the most important part of this system, the outer layer is windproof. And you definitely want to go with a windproof outer layer if you're going to be in a tree stand. If you're in a blind, of course, it doesn't make much difference. But if you're going to be in the tree, wind chill is what kills you. And having something that's windproof is one of the number one keys to staying warm during the late season. So this is my system. Uh, I mean, it's easy to walk in, you know, it's, it's warm, uh, functional, versatile, and uh, like I said, I've got options within this system. I can go with different boots, I can go with different layers underneath, but I'm always coming back to the same outer layer, the same windproof outer layer, and uh, 
wearing it down walking in so I don't sweat going to my tree stand. So the final thing, well, two, two things left. Uh, on your body, there's three things you need to take care of. Your feet, which I touched on those with the Saskatchewan boots here from Cabela's. Um, your hands, and normally uh, my hands don't get super cold, but I do have uh, hand warmer pockets in these coveralls I can slide my hands into to keep them warm if they do start to get cold. Uh, obviously wearing something like this, these are pretty thin, uh, light gloves. They're easy to handle the bow with, which makes them important. You know, you, you don't want to have big mittens, you know, that you can't get onto the string and stuff like that if a deer surprises you. And then uh, the third area is your head. If you keep your feet, your hands, and your head warm, uh, you can endure some pretty tough conditions, assuming you have windproof outerwear. So for my head, I've got the stocking hat, I've got the hood that I can pull on when I start to get cold. And then I've got, once I get into the stand, I'll have my face mask on too. So those are my three layers for my head. If it's sunny, I usually put some other type of a hat on underneath the stocking hat that gives me a, a bill you know, that I can use to shade my eyes from the sun just so I can see if I have to look towards the sun. But otherwise, uh, this little setup right here, you know, there's a lot of technology in this. You know, there's, there's, uh, you know, there's a lot that goes into staying warm and, you know, Cabela's has invested a lot of time and energy into coming up with the best cold weather systems for hunters. And I take full advantage of it because there's nothing worse than freezing while you're on stand or, you know, the alternative is to quit early and come in and, uh, that never accomplishes your goal either. Spend as much time as you can in the tree and be as comfortable as you can and enjoy it as much as you can while you're doing it.